with GitHub Copilot Spaces, you can bring together the context that Copilot needs, like files, pull requests, issues, and repos, so that Copilot's response are always grounded in your project. Welcome, Vanessa. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, thanks for having me. For those of us who might be new, what is GitHub Copilot Spaces? GitHub Copilot Spaces is a new way to work with context on GitHub. Every developer knows the pain point where someone opens up an issue and before you can even fix anything, you're hunting down looking for the right file, the right doc, and the right decision, whether it's from three months ago, a year ago. That process just takes a long time. So all of that context that you need is within Spaces, and then you have access to that information immediately to delve directly into the problem. This is a space that we created for CoQL open source repo, which is a popular open source project here at GitHub. As a maintainer for this project, let's say I received this issue from a contributor. And basically okay. this issue says that there is an unsafe usage check call within the code base. And so as a maintainer, I'm looking at this and I'm not exactly sure what the best way is to solve this problem. And for me, I'm going to use spaces to tackle this. So here I have gone through and I've created a space specifically for this CodeQL project. So here I have added a list of sources that I know will be valuable within this project and will help me resolve this issue. So I have added different design patterns, security guidelines, accessibility recommendations, as well as the entire repo in case I miss any security issues. Also, I'm able to link the entire issue as well. So the good thing about spaces is that I could just paste the URL for the issue and then add it and then it immediately shows up at the bottom of the space. One of the amazing things about spaces is that you just link these sources once and they're constantly updating. So I don't have to worry about this as this code base updates and these files within GitHub updates, this space is constantly updating. So as you're creating the spaces, like what kind of information can a GitHub Copilot space consume? There's so much that you can include within your space. You can add an entire repository if you want to. We do recommend that with spaces, it's really works the best when you have a specific curated set of files. You can add specific files from the repository. You can also link files, pull requests, and issues. The amazing thing is that you just have to attach the URL. So paste the URL in here and that automatically lists the pull requests or the issue. You can upload text content. Right now, a lot of people use this either for notes. Currently, we are working on supporting .docx, but it's not available yet. And so users are able to paste text files within here. We've seen users paste video transcripts in here as well, or Slack messages. Any text content that you want, you're able to paste within the space, and then that is referenced as Copilot is generating its response. So first, I have the sources that I need that are relevant to solve this issue, and this is where Copilot is going to pull the context from. And then I have a specific set of instructions of how I want Copilot to act. And so for this, I really want Copilot to act as a experienced engineer, as well as making sure that all of the information that Copilot is providing is grounded within the content of the space. I also want Copilot to make sure that it explains the goal, the approach and execution of what it's going to take and create a plan before it can execute on it. And then also within this instructions is I want to trigger Copilot coding agent directly from the space. So once we figure out the plan, I put in the instructions that we should trigger Copilot coding agent. Now that I have everything set up, I have the sources, I have the instructions, and I have this issue linked here. I'm going to ask Copilot, help me debug this issue. So Copilot already knows what issue I'm referring to because it's linked to the space. I can also link additional issues within chat if I wanted to. So as you can see, it's looking through the issue as well as parsing through all of the contents within the space to understand what's going on and how we can solve this. You can see the approach that Copilot is going to take. It tells me the goal, the approach, the execution. Mm -hmm. This is telling me that it's going to sanitize the inputs as well as disable SSH. That's the plan that Copilot is going to take to address this. 
And then at the bottom, you would see that it can propose code changes via the Copilot coding agent. So I'm going to type here and respond to Copilot, propose code changes using Copilot coding agent. And it's going to take me through this one more time just to confirm that this is what I want. And then once I review this, it's going to ask me, are you sure um, that I want to do this? So I'm going to click allow. And right now this is creating a task for Copilot coding agent. As you can see, it's using all of the information that we have referenced in the space and generating code that can help resolve this issue. So Copilot Coding Agent has generated a pull request to address what we just discussed. You can see the before code as well as the after code and the changes that, are that need to be made. All of this information is based off of what we reference in the space. So you can see here that the original prompt, uh, Copilot Coding Agent, is pulling the information from what we discussed in chat. If you look at the file, all within the file, it's referencing where from the space we're gathering this information from. So if you need to go back in, you need to validate it. Uh, everything is referenced here. And this allows you to review what Copilot is suggesting before you implement it and merge it. What if I wanted to make a change here? Like, am I able to iterate on what Copilot is suggesting? Within the space, if you still want to iterate on this code, you can go back to the space and work with Copilot and say exactly what you want to fix and what you want to address, and it will generate a new PR with sample code for you. So this is very flexible, and you can continue to work with Copilot until you get what you want. So let's say I reviewed the PR, everything is good, I'm going to merge it. And then I realized that this space is really helpful and I want to share it with other individuals, either in my team or people that might find this helpful. So the great thing about spaces is that knowledge is collaborative. By default, spaces are private. So when you create one, it's only going to be you that can share it, but you have the opportunity to share it with everyone within your org, or you can also share it to specific individuals. And that's something that you have complete control over. And if it's an enterprise customer, admins have control over who is able to share what information. So security wise, you do not have to worry in that area. Okay. So I see that we have like an install MCP prompt here on the spaces page like how does mcp play into this can i access this from my id yes yeah, so this is something that people have been asking for and spaces are now available in your ide via the github mcp server all you have to do is download the mcp server and then you can access spaces via the spaces tool set within the mcp server what else is on the roadmap for GitHub Copilot Spaces? Yeah, so we're really excited about what's coming out. We are working on a public API that will be released soon. We're also working on including additional file types. So image support is something that's been requested and is on our radar. And we're also looking for additional file types like .docx or PDFs as well. The three main use cases that we're seeing teams use for spaces are one, code generation, like I just showed you with Copilot Coding Agent, as well as planning issues and creating projects and detailing requirements. So me as a product manager, I use this all the time. We have a space just for spaces where we link our repos, features, issues. And when I want to brainstorm new features, I use that space to brainstorm features and that helps me so much. And then our engineers can then take that same space for co-generation as well. And then another thing is knowledge sharing. So again, here at GitHub for the spaces space, different teams come to us all the time wanting to know how the code base works. And so within the spaces space, we have a bunch of our code files. We also have issues. We did a architecture walkthrough. One of our engineers did that, and we were able to take that video transcript from that walkthrough and put it in the space. So when anyone within the company, either it's an engineer or someone from marketing, wants to know either how does the code base work or how do I share a space, specific features within the space, they just go to our spaces space and they can ask questions in Copilot chat. Amazing. Thank you so much for coming by and showing us GitHub's Copilot spaces, Vanessa. Thank you. Thank you for having me.
And that was your second look at GitHub Copilot Spaces, now with MCP support, and you can access everything from your IDE. How are you going to use this new brain trust for your team? Let me know in the comments. And if this was helpful, please like and subscribe. Push those changes to main, and we'll catch you on the next release.